Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. It's Sunday, so let's go ahead and take a look. See what we picked up this week uh, from the mail. A lot of different cards and a uh, case break I got into. So, um, what's the best way to start? I'll start with the hockey items. That's probably the uh, easiest way to go just because of... Uh, the number of baseball items I have. Okay, so from, let's see here, from 2022-23 SPX Hockey, we have this Radiance FX Steve Eiserman card. Didn't have something from, from uh, SPX, so definitely needed it. I love how it says the alumni on that. That's kind of cool. Um... This is the red parallel, which is kind of nice for the team color match. 61 out of 249. I am waiting on a base one as well. That's uh, out of 549 or something like that. So hopefully we'll get that in the not too distant future. Uh, from 2020-2021 SPX Signature Edition. Uh, this is the gold version of the profiles cards which i think you can only get uh um if you redeem uh if you collect the full silver set and then redeem it then you get uh one full set which includes um all these cards numbered out of 49 and then you get an autographed one of one card so uh that's uh 10 out of 49 unfortunately it does have a little bit of chipping on the top which is fairly typical of upper deck so that's kind of sucks but that's all right uh, we'll throw that one kind of right here there's just going to be a lot today um from 2027 or 2017 2018 uh upper deck ultimate collection we picked up a nice three color uh rpa for alex de Brinket, the newest uh, uh red wing or um Got him in the offseason. Really nice uh, auto. He's off to a really hot start. So I thought pick up some of his stuff while, before his stuff might jump. Uh, this is actually the gold debut threads. So numbered out of 37 out of 49. Uh, nice, good, clean signature. And then, like I said, three-color RPA for for the newest Red Wings. Obviously, he's on the Blackhawks in that one. Uh, okay, on the baseball front, we got into a uh, Tops update break with Cajun Breaker, who I I have used uh, several years ago. I might start using them more just because it's getting harder and harder to find uh, breakers. But we did get a full uh, hobby case. I'm not going to go through all the rookie cards and everything because since you've seen that before, but... They sent all the base. I'll have to sort through that uh, a little bit later. But there's certain things in the in the base cards that I definitely want to sort through. There's like Andrew Monasterio rookie cards. He, depending on what they do in the offseason, he could be their starting third baseman next year. I thought he had a solid season. Just doesn't have the power numbers that you would expect for a third baseman. But definitely hit, hit well. Uh, kind of 270s, 280s. Um, definitely wouldn't mind seeing him uh, at least remain on the team, even if he ends up not being a starter. But there's definitely Joey Weimer, who if he can work on his swing a little bit, get down, uh, just too much motion in my opinion. Um, that won't be, I think he'll get better. There's a Weimer insert. Uh, and then there's plenty of rookie debuts for Terrain, Garrett Mitchell, uh, and others. In fact, you can kind of see some of those right here, at least in the stuff that they top-loaded for me. Garrett Mitchell debuts. You get a Joey Weimer gold foil rookie debut. Uh, Silver Pack Joey Weimer. Brandon Woodruff. Uh, rainbow foil, uh, gold foil for the base, uh, Joey Weimer. So I got the debut, and and then we actually did get the case hit, one of the case hits, the home field advantage. 
Uh, actually, I have seen cases where one of these wasn't even pulled. So the fact that we did get one, I'm really excited about. Uh, that's a nice hard to hit uh, rookie card for Garrett Mitchell. All right, now and on to some of the more interesting things uh, from 20, what year is this? 2022 Topps Ben Baller edition. We got the 87 insert uh, Christian Yelich. This is actually the orange parallel, so that is numbered 21 out of 25, unfortunately. Uh, One-off jersey number, but that's all right. I got that on kind of a nice... Deal. It was under 10 bucks, so definitely worth it. Um, from uh, Tops Update, this is the Father's Day Andrew Monasterio, Father's Day Blue. That is numbered 10 out of 50. Do like the look of that card as well, um, especially with the Brewer colors. I think it, it, you know, it's not the exact team color match, but it's 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 close enough. Um, let's see here. From from update, we got the '88 on card autograph for Garrett Mitchell. This is the gold version that is numbered out of fifty. Fifty out of fifty. Unfortunately, um, definitely will not ten. Uh, you can kind of see the a uh, couple of the corners there are showing some white. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I got that at a pretty good price. But one card I really do like is the 88 All-Star version of Robin Yount from the Update series. This is the on-card auto uh, gold version, and this one is actually numbered out of 25, 9 out of 25. So we got one of the two digits right. Uh, so we'll throw that one maybe right there. And then finally... The last, oh, I should have noticed that they really take this one up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, last card for this week from, uh, I think this was 2005 Upper Deck Heroes Baseball. It is the blue parallel for Robin Yount, which is numbered 18 out of 20. So we're one off jersey number, unfortunately, but I do like this card. I have, I think, the green auto already. I think I still need to find, track down the red auto, which is numbered out of 50, but um, I might have that one too. I got to go back and look at my young collection which is getting to be a little bit too large <laughs> um, but this is a nice on-card auto the blue is fantastic with the team color match definitely worthy of inclusion into my robin young collection so there you have it, folks those are my pickups for this week a lot of stuff especially with the with the case break but uh, some nice eisenman stuff from my eisenman collection Yount stuff for the for the Yount collection and then obviously some other interesting cards including the garrett mitchell auto and home field advantage so what do you think about this week's pickups feel free to leave a comment below go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right down there thanks for watching everybody and i will see you later